so my camera was really tripping this weekend and then the trip was was just like girl so um i do have to do a story time probably get ready with me i should have did it now but i was talking to my aunt and stuff so i didn't do it but um it's not my camera it's my actual sd card i have to get more that are compatible with this camera because um it, it literally tells you as soon as you turn it on this uh sd card is not compatible let me hold y'all i don't want this to fall over the balcony a banister but um it literally tells you <laughs> that the card is not compatible and the speeds may be slow so all weekend i had to keep taking the card out putting it in i was scared i was going to damage the uh content that was on there so i just started doing a little bit of filming on my phone especially at the party i didn't even take the camera so yeah um y'all gonna see like the footage and stuff but i don't really have that much um footage but i just filmed i got home last night at like 12 30 um was in the bed by like 1 15 took a shower dog some love a snack and i was like all right y'all all right i had to get in the bed okay but um no seriously i like the trip i love road trips like that wasn't the issue i don't mind driving especially on the highway i don't like stop and go traffic i don't like you know that type but getting on the highway for a couple hours few hours whatever i don't mind so it wasn't that part it was it was like the inconvenience of the actual facilities during the trip it was just all bad and yeah i got a lot to say about the double tree hilton by the airport in north but we will talk about that but i'm about to edit this video i just found and submit that to my manager and then i'm going to eat something i'm starving like so hungry um i did take a nap because i was like look i got up around 10 and i was like mm, i don't feel that well rested taking a nap so yeah um but let me go i ain't got on nothing special let me sit y'all here can y'all see me if i sit y'all here i got on like i don't know y'all really can't see but it's nothing special it's just hold on but yeah, I don't have on nothing special. These yellow shorts from probably Fashion Nova, this bando. Got it a minute ago. So I'm going to do something for Delery. Let me show y'all everything that I've done so far. So she, I won't put this video out until after I do it. So that's really, really fun. But um, so her birthday is July 15th um and she's moving that weekend so she really doesn't have time to thoroughly plan and you know execute her birthday and stuff so i am going to try to take a little bit of stress off of her hey y'all uh, so i'm at delary's going to be soon to be old place um she took all her decorations down still have to post a video when i decorated it <laughs> like wow but um so I got my ring, well not my ring, like I just need it for the tripod part. Um, I put all her decorations on the balcony so she wouldn't see me coming in with anything. And I'm trying to whisper in case she listened to her ring camera. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to start. I literally got two hours, two hours.
this backdrop area, which is going to be further to the left once this is moved out because it's an empty house party. So yeah, this won't be here. So then we'll have like the whole center that we can move this backdrop down to and take pictures and stuff. Um, I just put some balloons at the bottom and then got the streamer at the, that's not streamer. I forget what it's called. But anyways, that stuff at the door. Um, as soon as you walk in, I don't, I, I'm scared of heights. Couldn't really secure the top, but it does go all the way to the floor. I don't like the streamers over there, so skip. Over here, gonna have cake, liquor, and I might have to bring my other table. Or no, the food can go in the kitchen, but, and jello shots. But yeah, um, very, very cute, but of course, the main event. Very, very nice. I love how this area came out. This is what I was mostly focused on. Um, tomorrow I might blow up more balloons, but I didn't want to do too much because they will be in here moving our stuff. So, yeah. Um, but anywho, put the happy birthday up, the big cancer energy, the you see, you see, you see. Wow. Love that. And did a little trick to make it look like we got helium in the balloons and we don't. So, yes. <sighs> Gotta do it the getaway. Oh Who's getting on you? Okay. Yeah. You can come in. Birthday. It's your birthday. If I die, carry me a son of a stone. Why don't you let us do this every night? Da -da 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 -da. Stress. Duh. Doing a quick little one too. Um, still have not waxed. So it is what it is. Trying to do my little 10 minute. A little bit of this because it is raining, which I low, sh low key should have just wore um, active wear and did like a headband moment because the weather is real ugly. It literally looks like it's dark outside and it's the middle of the day. Unless I'm not even rushing to get there because people don't know how to drive. So while that's drying just a little bit, I'm gonna do, um, even if my hair is growing in, I still do hirsutism oil because it's just more prone or more likely to work if you're consistent with it, even if there's hair. But don't stop using it just because you like, okay, well, hair is hair. It still needs to be done. It's green, even though it's raining. So this is La Roche-Posay moisturizer with SPF in it. Go in with Primer. I'm not doing much of a face, but I'm doing enough. I really want to focus the primer in the, oh, that's a big thunder. Oh, I thought it was going to be one. Danessa Myrick. So she has one as well. This is the clear one. I'm going to try it out. I know I shouldn't be trying nothing on like the day where I need to know if it's going to work. But I'm going to just test it. Cause what the balm does, it just, it's not supposed to cover it. It just creates like a, a layer. I call it like another skin layer. Oh, this works really good too. 
because I've just been using the She Glam because the She Glam has a little more pigment to it. But this creates like a barrier between foundation and the hair. So I focus it on the lower region. But if you don't have like hirsutism or facial hair growth, then you could just use this as like an all over um, full coverage type vibe. You said 10 minutes? Yeah, I'll probably be in a car, but I don't know. It's going crazy outside. But yeah, that's fine. Just speed through the brows because those can be a little annoying. Trying to get them right. Literally trying not to use too much concealer because that just means more blending for me. This region, I try not to use too much concealer because um, it's going to draw attention to that area. So I don't really want to lighten it per se. I want to more so darken it. A little bit of NARS and then... A little bit of the Fit Me. I feel like the Fit Me is a little darker than my Revlon, but I could be tripping. I just don't like that it doesn't have a pump. Fit Me, all you need is a pump, babe. I kind of do the mixing of the two colors on my face. Like I use my face as a palette and I mostly focus it. I forgot to put my wig on, so I'm gonna have to put some more spray because it dry down too much. But most of the foundation is focused on the lower half of my face. But I do go in up here as well with like the leftover on the brush. Sorry, real quick. Another one that I really like for a quick face is the ABH. I was using this for like a month straight when it was sent to me. But then I just started trying other stuff and because it's raining I'm not wasting my time with a straightener whatever the brush don't brush it is what it is by the way the wig cell in the clothing cell closet cell is still open and available on my website we have wigs as low as like $99 brand new never worn and then the clothes um, we have some new with tags new without tags stuff that was only worn once um a telfar bag up there like i know um we was doing the whatnot shows i know we were doing the live stream closet sales but honestly it's just easier for me well it's not easier for me to just post items it's easier to do a stream but um sometimes you just get stuff and it's easier for me to keep up with the inventory of stuff on the website. Um, but I know with the streams, like I was starting everything off at a dollar, but honestly, everything is reasonably priced. I didn't like knock anything over or anything like that. I tried to keep it extremely reasonable. But yeah, I'll leave that link. My, well, my website is always on link down below. Um, you can get through it through my description, my hop website, my Wadigi. I try to make it so easy and convenient. This is um, Black Radiance. I'm going to definitely have to brush my hair again. So I ain't really worried about that. I'm just trying to blend up here. Set the whole face with my She Glam. Then I'm gonna go in with my LA Colors Black Liner, my MAC Chestnut. And the three setting sprays I use is the Elf, Morphe, and Charlotte Tilbury. You don't need three, I'm sure. But I'm gonna just a little bit extra. Use this color here. And when I run out of this, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh, my camera about to die, let me hurry up. So that's what I mean, like tap, tap, tap on each side and then go in and blend. That makes more sense than to focus on one side, re-dip through the other side. Like, no, we ain't doing all of that. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe. That just does it for me. Yeah, a little more. I'm going to go with my Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like this 
it's a cute little quick quick you know one two not doing too much this right here i could be done with just this but i feel like this is gonna give me a little bit of a glow and this is gonna make it stay all night that's my reasoning my method to my madness going so with summer fridays i used the same thing yesterday honestly all my products are the same for the most part i either just add something or take something away this nest indian jasmine so good only thing i gotta remember is keep my mouth closed like when i'm spraying this is so good too I got the pink one. You see the container is velvet. The pink one and this one smells really good. So I'm gonna use my perfume oil that I made. So good. I immediately went and bought another one as soon as I got this one. Oh, and this one for today. that's it we're out here a mess mom on speaker um we are trying to organize a little bit of the garage i look crazy too My SD card's been acting up, but I have some vlog content. This is the one, I think this one down here is the one that I need to use. Um, the SanDisk Extra or Extreme Pro. It's an A2 chip. So, yeah, I think I need to just go ahead and get like a few more of those, especially if I'm going to be consistent with doing my vlog content. Y'all, I've been using um the Ordinary and like I told y'all, the Shea Moisture um, even tone deodorant. Of course, I use my Lumi too, which is the acidified body wash and stuff. And I think it's really been helping with the underarm area. And I've been more consistent with my waxes. It's not every two weeks or every month like my face. It's like every time I feel like I need to wax. So um, it's more consistent as far as I'm not going back and forth between creams and <sighs> razors and stuff with the underarm because that's typically what causes my underarms to be like so i guess um discolored but um nonetheless hello happy wednesday tomorrow i have this candlelight concert that i'm going to my friend wanted to originally go with me and i'm just gonna have to go again with her because i had already gotten these tickets so i'm gonna go to that and i'm gonna go with my other friend and that's gonna be cool but today I just want to start styling my wigs that will go on sale tomorrow. And I want to um, organize my inventory room. So I'm gonna take today to kind of focus on 50 Slay, if that makes sense. And then um, tomorrow, probably focus on my closet room and getting that together. Um, and then going to that candlelight concert, just having a cool little chill vibe tomorrow night. So that's the vibes we're on today. I am wearing this little two-piece skirt set from Fashion Nova. I have a love-hate relationship with it, and I'll show you it. These are just some blue lights because I do have to check some emails real quick. But, um, so, this is, like, I feel like it's cute for if I'm at my home gym or, like, just at home chilling because it rolls up. It's a skirt, 
but it rolls up and I'm on my cycle so hopefully I didn't like you know leak through or anything I love wearing white on my cycle I don't know why but um so this halter bra is cute but I feel like for more support I would have got a two eggs but and these were so separate and then in the back I feel like it's not really squirting it's more so shortened so that's that so I definitely would do like home gym workouts with it or just home lounging cleaning whatever and then this part tends to like roll down there so yeah that's why I feel like I would have had more support with maybe a 2x or I would just have to wear like a bandeau underneath I don't really know but I feel like that defeats the purpose but nonetheless I do like this and I like how stretchy and comfortable it is compared to some other squirt sets so um yeah that is this and I just have on my white workout sneakers and yeah that's pretty much that I need to decide what I'm gonna eat for lunch um and don't mind the hair child this wig I had it on yesterday when I was filming and then I used my melting spray and it was like stuck down so I was like well let me just put a bonnet on and go to sleep and so yeah the wig is still here but it ain't you know it don't, it don't look as good as it looked yesterday but um yeah let me go ahead and get to it because it ain't gonna do it if I don't do it okay okay so hopefully y'all can hear me because I think it's recording from my headphones if I'm not mistaken but either way um we're in the inventory room right now and this is just like the items for the hot box and the hot box is when you're heat styling your hair so we have the edge control we have the wax stick the heat protectant as well as the growth oil the growth oil is also in the luxe box matter of fact the luxe box has everything in it but here i was just i was heat sealing all of the oils in the edge controls um then I was bubble wrapping the oils because those do come in like glass containers. Hopefully my background music over here that I have playing is not too loud. But um, yeah, that's all we're doing right now. Um, I like doing this. It's like real calm and it's real peaceful and you know, it's repetitive, but it's cool or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and speed the rest of this up and let y'all listen to some music. Oh, wait, before that. Um, we do currently have sale units on the website. These boxes were restocked um, last month. So we do have all of the hair care product boxes in stock. Uh, this launched earlier this year. I had been working on the hair care line for like years, ever since I was in my second place. And that was in like 2017, 2018. Um, I tested out the products on my natural hair before well my hair is still natural but on my loose natural hair then I tried them on my locks and then of course we have some products that we would use on like wigs and sew-ins and stuff so um it's definitely been a long time coming it wasn't something that happened overnight so yeah that was super exciting and super fun to launch and I've just been chilling on it like I ain't been trying to go too too hard with trying to shove it down people's throats but just wanted to let y'all know that um, it did launch earlier this year and everything is in stock and restocked on the website as well as the new um, heat tools that we did add as well. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and let some music play for y'all for the rest of this portion and I will be back later.
Anywho, y'all, we just came from the candlelight concert, and this is the fit black red jeans. Y'all probably can't see. I'll insert pictures, and then I had these white fuzzy slides that I got from Shein. Um, I did a haul recently with them like a month ago, so yes, Delry copied me. She wore a white tube top and some jeans and some sandals. I, I told her what I was wearing last night and then she just popped up <laughs> with it. No, I actually wanted to wear this Fashion Nova like corset. But y'all, I had the hardest time trying to put it on and I was like, F it. And I had a black and white one and I got a black on black one. I'm going to keep the black on black one, but I'm going to put the black and white one in the closet sale. But yeah, this is from Homecoming, this top right here. And it came in handy because I needed black and white for my outfit. But that's it. I must insert footage of the candlelight concert too. Very, very nice, but it's too short. for the um lighting because it's dark outside and it's actually like the um it rained today out of nowhere so the windows are like foggy but anyhow i need to start stripping this period not me matching the room anyways i need to um clean the carpet so what i'm gonna do is it's a new mattress or whatever. So I'm going to strip this bed and I'm going to put the Murphy bed back into the wall. So that way I can shampoo this whole carpet um, and the area rug as well. And I'm gonna strip the bed and stuff, of course. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think it's enough room. I mean, not room, but light for y'all to see me. So I'ma just prop y'all up.
about to get this bad boy out of here. I'm actually sleeping in here tonight. Um, this room gets hot, so I'm gonna put the fan on because I'm about to record a haul. So I'm gonna put this fan on because I'm about to show y'all a few things that I got from Bath and Body Works and the cleaner I'm about to leave, um, use for uh, the carpet in here and all that good stuff. So I'm glad that this bed frame actually isn't like an on the floor. It's like a few bars that touch the floor so I can um, shampoo over here, then put this down and let the uh, mattress inflate and all of that over here while I, you know, chill out a little bit. I don't have to basically wait for the floors to be completely dry. For the sheets i simply was looking for six piece sets that would um come with four pillowcases and two well fit it in flat they shipped this like literally in this the shipping label is on the other side and um the outside is dirty which i hate because i actually like these little um things but luckily i have my own in this closet actually so this is like just a soft pink color. I didn't want a baby pink. I wanted more of a mauve pink. Then we have this one, which is, um, all of these are queen because I did choose a queen mattress. Uh, a nice sage green color. Again, you gotta, you can't mind this pink because this goes down on the floor. So everything is really white and beige in here. Um, a little bit of the wicker brown color. Child, I got the paper ripping and stuff. But anywho, sage green. And then I have white. Now, I didn't really care for getting the most expensive sheets. First of all, the mattress is amazing. So, um, I didn't want to get like super horrible sheets. But these are the white ones that I chose. And I want to make sure I have, oh yeah, it does have four pillowcases. So I just got white. I feel like everybody should kind of have like a white pair. Um, I don't always want to have it on the guest bed, but I think I might either go with white or the sage. I do try to keep it like, you know, a little neutral. And when guests come for the sheets, they're going to sleep on it once. And then I'm going to wash them, you know. So I don't get... For the, I would say suitcases. <laughs> For the toothbrushes too, I don't get like the most expensive toothbrushes. No, because they're gonna use it one time and leave it in that bathroom. So I'm gonna throw it away, or they're gonna bring their own. But I do like these because these come with a little cover, a little cap. I got it. This is what I'm actually going to use to shampoo the carpets up here. My other Hoover. I took it to my aunt house and I was shampooing her carpets and then I realized they came out with another version of it. Few things. I just got some carpet shampoo. So I'm just gonna use that, see how it works. Um, I have another one I use. I think I took the whole bottle to my aunt house. So I didn't know if I even had any here. So I just went ahead and picked that up. And then this works miracles. So I went ahead and I'm gonna spray like any spots I see on the area rug or the regular cut on um, carpet. I'm gonna spray with this. So I'm gonna pre-treat it. It's a stain remover, but it can work for clothes, upholstery, um, carpets, etc. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this inside the shampoo or two, but I need to low-key make it into a spray bottle first so um because this is a super this is a concentrate so this makes i think they said like 64 gallons dogs aren't odorless but your house doesn't have to smell like dogs hopefully that makes sense now bath and body works we have salted amber and vetiver one of my favorite candles i didn't only got four because they candles they have not been having like they little ten dollar five dollar however much the candles be i need to really do my nails because i did this little quick press on set 
but I gotta do some cuticle cleaning up and stuff. But this one smells so good and I always have it on the burner. As soon as you walk in the house, I always turn that on the eight hour timer. This one I wanted to try mahogany vanilla. I thought it would be a mixture of mahogany teak wood and vanilla. And that's basically what it is, but I still get a lot of that mahogany. But that salt to amber and vetiver is so good. And I've been lighting candles in my bedroom a little bit more, like when I'm taking my baths or just, you know, for a little vibe on my little side table dresser thingy. This is gingham. I really like the lotion that I got, so I wanted to try the candle. And the candle is okay. It's a little, what is it? Pear or citrus? Peach, fresh clementine, blue freesia. But yeah, I think this one is pear. So Japanese cherry blossom and gingham are my two new scents that I like. Um, and then I like the something blooming blossom. I don't know. This smells so good. I never knew how much I love Japanese. And this is one I feel like they get right in the body products and the candle because sometimes you'll have body products but it don't smell like the candle. All I need for them to do is go ahead and make the uh, fabric softener, the scent boosters with the Japanese cherry blossom cause I will 1000% get that kind. For the ladies basket, I thought I didn't even order it. I was kind of sad, but I think I have a bar soap too. So we have the body cream, gingham gorgeous, the body wash, no lotion, and then body wash. Okay, so this one smells good. I didn't know. I went in a little bit blind, but not too blind because I did see I do have the bar soap, but I didn't open it completely. But I'm glad, like I'm gonna be here using it. <laughs> so that's for the feminine basket. And I'm gonna put this in there too, because for some reason, my cousin do be coming over here washing her hair. So we got the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I typically, I use my products, you know, Thrifty Slay, but, um, you know, I'll just put that in there for, you know, the guest basket effect. For the masculine basket is going to be Vanilla Noir. So we have the body cream. We have the body wash. We have, they didn't have like the lotion, like this one. This the lotion. They didn't have like the lotion. I didn't see it. I'm not gonna say they didn't have it. I didn't see it. They have the body spray and then the bar soap. So they do have that. And last thing in here, I'm telling you, my little Aldi bag be coming in handy. It held all of that stuff. These little baskets, I really hope they're small. Oh good, they're not too long. These are good for, me personally, I use them for gift baskets. They are, they could be gift baskets. You have the little thing you could wrap it with and I'm gonna keep that because I do like making gift baskets. But that's not what this is for. You expand it a little. Oh, it's the perfect size.
Alright, so here we are trying out the Hoover Smart Wash. And y'all, I didn't know they had a Smart Wash pet because I feel like sometimes the pet versions of things do work a little bit better. And they also have the Hoover Smart Wash, um, what is it called? It's like a, oh, it's cordless. But that one was like, I think, 200 more. And I was like, is it really worth it? And is it heavier? Because I feel like the battery would make it way heavier. But either way. I got the regular standard version of the smart wash and it might have been like a prime day thing. Um, I stuck to Hoover because I had their Power Dash pet and I really liked it. The only thing about that one, you had to refill the tank a lot and the solution tank and the water tank weren't separate like on this one. I only had to refill, matter of fact I haven't refilled this one yet. I did have to empty the tank once though um, and I did the hallway as long um, along with the guest room so um, I really like it I also like that it's like technically smart so when you push it forward it automatically washes when you drag it back it automatically dries and then it also has the option for you to do dry only to pull all of the liquid out of the carpet without dispensing anymore so I do like that it worked really well on this area rug too I didn't even know that this area rug <laughs> was that dirty. Um, and I say that because it's like an abstract rug. So it had like a spot on it. I didn't even know it was a spot. And I'm like, when did this even happen? But either way, absolutely love this cleaner. Highly recommend. And I want to get their handheld one. But this one actually is a two-in-one. So it turns into a handheld as well. I look like I've been shampooing carpets. Wig pushback and everything. On another note, wow, like it did a spectacular job. It was like maybe two spots on the area rug that didn't come clean. And then all that either, I don't know if somebody was on a cycle, spilled makeup, whatever, but came up immediately. Love, 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 love. As long as you keep up with your um, shampoo wear, like it works, you know? Hey love, so I wanted to pop in and thank Titan for sponsoring the most important part of my guest bedroom revamp. As a plus size girly, I've been super excited to give Titan a try because it can be difficult trying to find a strong enough yet comfortable enough mattress to do the trick. I felt like Goldilocks out here. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. <laughs> but no, seriously. Titan is a sleep solution built for the big, the tall, and the strong. They blend high quality foam with heavy duty coils. So they give us the lift and durability that we need to sleep good every night for years to come. Speaking of years, Titan actually has a 10 year warranty on their mattresses and I love that for us. But I also love Titan because you don't have to choose between comfort and support. It's all built into one mattress. I also thought that it was super cool. They ship for free across the US from their Arizona factory. I chose the Titan Plus Luxe in the queen size for my mattress and I love the fact that it could sleep up to 1,000 pounds comfortably and it has a medium firmness that's perfect for those who sleep on their stomach or their side like me or even those who sleep on their backs. I love to host at my home. I love to make my guests feel comfortable. And Titan really took my guest room to the next level, okay? <laughs> but after setting it up, I was like, of course I have to sleep in here. And I slept there that same night. And I also decided to be my own guest for a while. I usually wake up a few times throughout the night, but I actually slept all the way through this time. And that was from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. Yes, I'm a night owl. And I only got up because I received a phone call. I probably would have stayed asleep longer. I'm so serious. But um, of course, it takes more than one night to see if you love something. So I absolutely love that Titan offers a 120, a 120 night sleep trial plus their 10 year warranty. Setting up my Titan mattress was very simple as well. It was very straightforward. Um, again, this is a heavy duty mattress, okay? So if you can get another person to do some lifting with you, I will recommend it. But it's not impossible to do solo. As you see me, you know, you saw me working it a little bit. But as the box said, you pull it out, unroll it, and expand it. It really is that easy. Um, and it also expanded way faster than I anticipated to its 13 inches of plushness, okay? but support too. 
And another big plus, Titan is fiberglass free. I just started seeing fiberglass go viral this year on TikTok for all the wrong reasons. So I love that Titan doesn't contain it in their mattresses. I 1000% love and recommend Titan mattress. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out titanmattress.com. You can click on the link in my description and get 25% off using the code White. Just run this over here. So I was really proud of how these guest toiletry baskets worked out. So typically, well, before I had one major basket, but I think people were kind of like, is this, the, you know, just for decoration or can we actually use it? So I figured if we kind of separate it and we have like um, a masculine and a female one, well, a feminine and a masculine one, then it will work better and people will be more prone to use it because they were prettier too. But um, I just added a towel, a hand towel. Um, a face washcloth and a body washcloth and then added a shampoo and conditioner to both as well as a like body cream or lotion the dial bar of soap um, spray for the masculine basket and then um, body wash as well that matches the scent so yeah I absolutely love how these turned out oh and I forgot the bar soap that matches the scent too and um, some toothbrushes and that's pretty much it everything else can be found in the bathroom in the linen closet if they do need other items so did i eat or nah like i think i ate so i was gonna put the basket isn't big enough but i was gonna put the um mango the almond mango one in there but like i said it's not big enough so i'm just gonna put that on the shelf along with some other um I guess neutral stuff like some other doves some other lotion so yeah absolutely love how it came out though i do have to put a bar dial in the women's as well because honey i love dial it's not just you know for the masculine basket i need to put some in a feminine as well because i use it as a first clean like i clean my whole body with dial first before i go in with any smell goods fragrant like um body washes and stuff like that scrubs so yeah i love it i love it it's so cute yes ate that up okay so let's get these sheets on because it's getting dark outside Hey y'all so the guest bedroom revamp is done aka just changing out the mattress shampoo and a rug area rug looking really really good got some texture going on the bed from the fur to the crinkle to the waffle and yeah i absolutely love it i'm gonna show y'all in the daytime too because it did get dark 
This wall is really plain because that's where the projector goes. And I think that's pretty much everything. This is the guest toiletry section. Okay, kind of did my big one. I ain't gonna hold y'all. But no, seriously, I do absolutely love it. I'm trying to make that like lean a little bit. But yeah. I'm about to shampoo out here in the hallway right there really quick and take that trash from my closet room downstairs but this is that this is an ugly wall plug thing but i thought it would be useful um since i took it out of the corner and i did go ahead and add that new one back there and it leaves an additional outlet and a USB-C and a USB, no, two USBs. Um, and then a USB-C one can be swapped out. But that's that one. Um, and I put six pillows up here. I don't know if I mentioned, but because like if it's multiple people like staying over, I'll just be like, hey, throw two of those green pillows downstairs. Um, I do love this Murphy bed. I just want... Um, the only thing I would want is a headboard, but I could understand how that would be hard to build into it. But I think a headboard would have been nice. So um, the pillows can lean up against it. But I ain't even, you know, I ain't worried about that because I still absolutely love this bed. And we'll probably keep it forever in my guest rooms um, as long as I have a guest room. So super excited about this room and the revamp. And, um, and I don't know if I ever mentioned, but... I, of course, this is the shape of the moon. So I just got this cute little note. The moon is a reminder that no matter what phase we are in, we are still whole. I love that quote. It came with the shelf. This is the scent that I usually put sun drenched linen in the room. So, you know, if it's empty, I could just refill it. And it's actually behind a chair. And this is for if people want to, you know, take out this trash and put a new bag or for when you take your dirty clothes off and you need to put them in a bag before you put them in your suitcase or a duffel bag um that's what i usually use those for but that's pretty much that i did move the wall plug to behind this little couch over here or chair but yeah this is one of my favorite rooms if not my favorite room like it's just effortless it's real nice real bright real cute I thought I could read the sign. You would try just messed up trying to put these lashes on, but I definitely had a good sleep, took the lashes and everything off. All right, so this is the daytime view. I might have some stuff left in here from when I slept in here last night, but absolutely in love with the refresh. Um, honestly, like I said, the only thing different is the mattress and then also the sheets um got the carpet together i ain't got no clothes on so if y'all see me y'all i mean i have on clothes like i'm not naked but um yeah carpet is clean so i'm really really excited about the refresh i'm really really happy with how this turned out love 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 that i even went ahead and um did the little hall area over here. Um, people always ask like where they should put their towels and stuff. I forgot this bin was in the closet. So yeah, um, the sheets and stuff I took off yesterday are in there. And then a the towel I used last night is in there too. So um, the next thing I do want to clean in here, which I'll probably go ahead and do it today or tomorrow, is the arms of these chairs. As y'all can see, it just looks like, you know, regular wear and tear on a beige chair. Definitely going to see um any type of spots so it's like that over here as well it could be anything people putting their feet up or um just arms oils lotions whatever but yeah i 1000 percent love this room i got the projector to work because the projector wouldn't work like the remote wouldn't last more than like five minutes 
So I was like, I'm confused as to what's really going on. And it was just the fact that I had to connect it to the 2G uh, Wi-Fi, but the extender. So not just the Wi-Fi, the extender of it. So that's what I had to do. And it smells really good in here. I do like that plug in that I put in here. I had to get used to it, but I do love it. I turned it down to level one. I love the adjustable plug-in um, thingies on or from Bath & Body Works. Uh, so you can have one, two, and three. I usually keep it on one for small rooms like this and three for larger areas like the living room, kitchen, whatever. But um, yes, also get into the texture of the bedding. Got the fur, the crinkle, the waffle the wrinkled <laughs> um the sheets are wrinkled i do not steam sheets baby this ain't jackie i know over here this ain't jackie 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 but yeah this is i love it and then i love when you see like the little lights sun shining through the blinds there um and it was actually comfortable right now it's reading like 79 degrees in here but when i was laying in here it was fine so i don't really know what that is the vent is like right there so that could be helping with being cool. But I didn't have any issue. I had the fan on, only one of them out of two. And I was good. Slept from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. Super excited about that. But yeah, this is almost the final, um, final look of the guest room. Like I said, the last thing I want to do is get those chairs together. But I'm going to stop rambling because I'm hungry and ready to go eat. <laughs> Okay, I always got stuff in my nose, so I always got to do a nose check. And even when I do a nose check, it still don't be checking through, coming through, nothing. So, um, I want to give y'all a little phone case haul, but I'm missing one, two. So, I'll show you guys those as I get them later on and tomorrow. Um, I'm about to do some digital planning because I haven't digital planned in so long. I literally don't know what I was saying. Wow. But um phone cases. So we have this one which is buttercup. These do move, so boom. Okay, and it is a pop socket. So I actually love these. Oh, she got something on her glasses. Girl, got something on her glasses. But I thought that was super duper cute. And it's like a good little fidget, something to play with, and you could just Go make it go flat to the phone. And I did go ahead and change my screen protectors yesterday. So, uh, well, screen protector on this phone. So, yeah, I'm super excited about that. And I love this case. I was asking group chats and I was asking people on Instagram, what should I change my case to between this one and this one? Which I really like this one, but I think, I don't know, like... It's so me, like literally matches the nails, but um, I don't know. It's a little bit bulky and it's silicone, like it's not plastic or anything. So I feel like it'll get dirty quick. And if you are familiar with fashion over clothes, wash all the black, dark clothes, whatever, before you wear them, because that dye will rub off and this will be a black phone. Literally, I was just thinking about stuff like that. But um, this one's cute and some people did choose this one too, but the pole last time i looked this one was winning so yeah um i got these two and then another one which i'll show y'all later for that phone and then we have my business phone and the screen is dirty so um this one has like a pink pinkish you know type of vibe for the screen protector and it's fine it's just like not as sensitive like as far as the haptic feedback it's not as sensitive as I would like it to be. Like if I'm laying down and I'm going like, oh, a call. No, you kind of have to be intentional. Like you have to put a little bit of pressure on there and tell it what you want it to do when you're texting. Make sure. But this is my business phone. So I really don't care. But um, somebody saw this one was like, oh my God, the screen will throw me off. It's just like a regular privacy screen. It doesn't throw me off because when I'm looking straight at it, it's regular. Only when you look to the side, is it going to have that effect um just like a privacy screen so yeah the case i got for that one because as you can see 
it used to be clear the phone is white and it is now getting stained so i'm changing this one too and it would be ideal to do the um blossom these are her glasses so that way i could have you know buttercup and blossom yes i like them more than i like bubbles um but i have this other one coming but i think i'm gonna go ahead and do the blossom one this oh i know exactly what i want to tell y'all about but um nothing special about today's activities i want to clean my closet i want to clean the kitchen and um straighten up the living room and stuff and i definitely want to mop but this is the planner okay digital planning this is the accountability one which i do need to have more accountability i am definitely more focused on getting my water intake making sure i'm trying to put better foods in my body and it's not just for you know people love to weight loss weight loss weight loss no literally for pcos and managing that um because you know with pcos you can create or develop or have insulin resistance and imbalance of hormones all of that good stuff so i'm just trying to make sure the things i'm putting in are benefiting and y'all i can tell like i'm gaining weight and i in the main way i can tell is my boobs like these are the largest my boobs have ever been like and i know y'all probably like girl but me and when i try on clothes like putting on a corset and i'm like what like girl the jugs are jugging okay and i've always been like c's when i was like in high school d's out of high school but I feel like now if I was to go get measured, girl, that is more than a D. Um, and of course, the you know, with the boobs expanding, the back is expanding and stuff. So I'm just like, uh-uh, boobs too big. I done hit 30. Girl, no, ma'am. <laughs> no. So y'all already know, like, like I said, it don't be so much weight loss. It be when things start to fit different, look different. Everything that I wear, my tit is making them look like, girl, I don't know. thought it was going to be like a hard plastic or something. I did not know. But it's very cute, nonetheless. Um, some people said they had scrapes on theirs. This one doesn't. You will put the little charm there. And then you have like the shoulder strap that you could put right there. So that's cute. Oh, okay. So this one goes like this. Stomach out. Um, this one goes like this. And isn't that so cute? Okay. So this one doesn't have the notes immediately. Or a little card. So we're just going to go in blind. I absolutely don't know what to expect here. Um... Zamaya. Oh. Without even letting it sit and smell on my arm. I'm getting a little bit of musky marshmallow. But it gives a little bit like clean girl, like bubbles, soapy. We're going to see what the dry down is like. I like it off back, but it's very like, cause I've tried so many fragrances lately. It's very, it definitely sticks out, but it's not overdoing it. It's not, and it might be a little bit of floral. I'm going to go put the notes. Base notes, amber, vanilla, sandalwood definitely has a vanilla undertone. Mid notes, musk, marshmallow, almond milk. Told y'all musk, told y'all marshmallow. Top notes, did I not say floral a little bit? I don't know where I got the soapy one, but did I not say floral? Orchid, heliotrope, and vanilla. I told y'all, I believe. Oh, also does the same thing. And then, okay. All right, you cute, you cute, and I love a little, uh, not the sway, love a little presentation, love a little presentation, okay. 
I like her. Oh, this one dried down to a little powdery. Mm. Okay, now let's go look. Couldn't quite, couldn't quite put my, okay, oh, did I, or did I not say fruity? Why did I not say, I said citrusy, so that counts. So we have base notes, vanilla, oh, cashmere, that's what that is. Vanilla, cashmere, and musk. I told y'all musky, um, nine times out of 10, something that's going to have a base note of vanilla that I like. Middle notes. Jasmine, I told y'all. Orange blossom, I told y'all. Citrus, I told y'all. I told y'all. Heliotrope, that's okay. Common. So I told y'all florally a little bit. I feel like I said that. Top notes: mango, coconut, and passion fruit. I told y'all it was sweet, but I honestly I wasn't getting vanilla. I was getting like a sweet caramel brown sugar. Like I wasn't getting vanilla for my sweet, but I'm definitely getting the fruits. Definitely getting the uh, musk, the jasmine or the uh, floral from the heliotrope and the jasmine. And that orange, I knew it. And a little more out there. Okay. So if I had to describe them as people, both are sexy. This is an introvert. This is an extrovert. She's outgoing. She's more to herself. Small circle. She's she's out there in the crowd, you know, she's a you know, she's vibrant and she's mysterious, but both are beautiful, gorgeous, sexy girls. Okay. Love that for us. But is the body body in? I think the pants see through though. Yeah, the pants see through. Okay, welcome to the catastrophe. What um, what used to be a closet beauty room um, and we are getting it together yes it looks crazy in here absolutely I'm not even gonna sugarcoat what the hell is going on in here I'm actually gonna do a before and after on TikTok because people really be acting like you know oh people don't show they're realistic this is the realistic baby we got wigs we got clothes we got wax strips we got everything everywhere Okay, so um, I got loads in the laundry right now. Yeah, ain't nothing to say. Clearly, months of neglect in this beauty room. And I ain't about to try to clean up a little bit to show y'all nothing. Okay, if I actually film any of the progress in here. Look at the wax strips piled up, Lord. If I film any of the process, um, I have on period briefs so um well yeah boxer briefs so yeah i'm not naked people i have on period panties briefs <laughs> um but yeah uh yeah yeah you can barely see the floor it's just it's time it's time it is time i was so tired of pants today i just ripped them things off i was so tired of tampons i said where's my period briefs need them asap and i actually need to restock but yeah um let's go ahead and get this together i think i'm gonna start in the black section because hello yeah yeah so we're gonna do that um i'm gonna put on a uh, control by SZA and get to getting i am redoing this fragrance cabinet hopefully my new fragrance um shelves fit in there this just got to be redone i actually wanted to redo this whole room but i'm not because i'm like you know i got better bigger priorities in life and i don't need to keep redesigning 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 we gonna make it work we just gonna make this work okay so yeah let's go ahead and get to it
officially ordered my new SD card because two of them hoes. Because I am so tired of whatever this camera got going on all the way back since the trip to New Jersey. Like, ridiculous. So, I... Today actually makes two weeks with no wax. And it doesn't look that bad, but I do need to wax. And I was going to, like, postpone it for another week. Currently... I guess about to go through this, these bags. It's like three bags behind me of clothes and see what's in there. It might not even be clothes. It could be whatever. So I'm going to go through and see what's in there. It might be shoes. And yeah. We are on the last day of probably filming on this camera. My two SD cards did get here um, either yesterday or the day before, but... Um, I didn't want to just change it over because when I think about going to edit, I didn't want to. So, anyways, we're wrapping up this vlog. And Target Scorp. Love it. Okay. Um, this is probably from Brazen. Just a little hat um, that I made like 10 years ago, honestly. Um, and two months worth of... Two months is crazy. Two weeks worth of facial hair growth, which I am waxing today. And I'm going out tonight. So, <sighs> I kind of wanted to do that earlier just in case I did want to put on makeup. Um, I know I'm not supposed to put on makeup the same day. But I'm going to do a little eyebrow, eyelash, something. This is how far we got. I am warming up my wax. Um, didn't do any of the vanity yet. I did come over here and sorry for the lighting. Um, I don't have my beauty lights on, but um, I built one of these shelves for the perfume and I put it on that shelf. I'm gonna build the other one and show y'all. You know, the process is very easy. Then over here, we do have the hangers that like i forget what they're called like magic hangers or space savers whatever but everything for like this room is already linked on amazon but i'll go ahead and link it on my wadigi site and i'll link it in the description but as you can see that is holding like 60 to 80 tops i want to say because it's like mm, probably 10 to 15 on each one just depending on the color so i would say at minimum it's holding like 45 50 so yeah very happy with that and it does space space <laughs> i about to say save space but i put it together anyways um yeah progress in this room way better than what it was looking but still not done i still want to reorganize this those fragrances clearly have to go into the glass cabinet um I did get uh, all the graphic tees and jerseys put away here. Black skirts there and shorts. Still have to hang up the rest of the jeans. I don't know if those boots are staying there. All the skirts and pants. Well, at the bottom is long skirts, shorter skirts, pants. So, um, pants that are not jeans to hang up. I ripped the tag off. And as I was ripping it, I knew I shouldn't have. Because, girl, it put a hole right there that is so that's not even cute but anywho um i did a quickie wax yesterday so yeah still gotta do like sideburns and cheeks but that's that i literally have wig glue in my hair so don't mind that but i literally need to wash my hair and that is happening this week but it will be happening on my other SD card. I did a quick press on set yesterday when I went out. So I may not be doing anything to my nails.
we have made progress um i think i showed you guys this last night but if i didn't here's where we are um still have to get to the perfume but i told you guys i wanted to get to the vanity first but i'm very happy with how this is looking i think i still have another silver bag or two to put in there but anywho coming over here um so this is like pr stuff in here accessories which i'm about to put away that's my travel makeup bag so i need to go ahead and put that like clear it out and then put that in the hallway with my luggage and then it's like makeup palettes here that's a trash bag but i'm about to use it to clear off some stuff on the vanity So it's crazy how the SD card works when it wants to. Like for three days, I mean two days in a row, it's been working. I haven't had to take it out. It's just crazy. But um, y'all, we are almost done. Literally. Um, so this is just my crock bucket. But these right here, those kept falling off the sneaker shelves. And these are like the white um shoes that I have to put right here once I move these I'm literally about to move them right now that's the last step in here um the cleaner is just left up out of here so um yeah I'll, they probably didn't know that that was trash so I'll dump that myself um but yeah I love them so much they do such a good job now I want to show y'all how they did the um guest room real quick because it was like it's kind of cute looking i really really like it i never thought to do it in that orientation you know because if you think about it that does look like a headboard and then um it faces like this and that's where the projector displays so it gives it like a loungy effect so i i like that um but my room the only thing that i didn't worry about i keep my luggage right here if y'all are wondering but um was this room which is the inventory room but yeah keep that luggage right there i need to clean these walls with a good magic eraser and here is my room i was in here in the tent while they were doing a thing but then i'm like okay now they downstairs doing a thing so i could definitely um go put that perfume away and then i'm gonna get ready to go to delary's place so yeah they do an amazing job every single time uh oh they took down the little dog crate cover thing so 
we are going to do the perfume. So I'm gonna prop y'all up. Period. Eyebrows on fleek, but now I wanted to show y'all closet because we are almost, mm, for the most part, done. What I have to do is um, organize my jewelry, and then now that I have like everything in here, I know it's kind of backwards, but I actually want to start like getting rid of some stuff. Um, but like I said, it's kind of backwards. But I wanted to see everything I had. Um, but now I know I have like duplicates of like 10 of the same type of black sets and stuff. So, yeah. So this is the view when you first walk in. Let me see if it's centered. And yeah, I don't have any like, um, I used to have like the pink couch in here and stuff. But I just have the Chase Lounge that used to be in the old office apartment. Um, and I covered it with a pink cover just put some pillows on there so if I do want to lounge around I really don't lounge in here to be honest if anything I'm a lounge in the plant room or in my book nook but um if you know I have somebody here a few people here we doing makeup hair whatever kiki in they can definitely sit on a chase lounge and on that ottoman as well um the chair uh the stool rather is temporary I wanted to do another um crisscross applesauce chair um, but I wanted to do the ones with the wheels on it. Um, so I took the one that used to be in here and put it downstairs in the plant room slash office. Um, so that's just temporary. And once the other chair is there, it kind of covers like all the chaos going on underneath the desk. It's not too bad, but it's not too good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the hill section, the sneaker section, this display, which honestly, I might go ahead and sell those shoes because, I don't really wear them. I don't wear them. I'm not going to say really, but they were cute for the closet. Um, those small purses up there, I just left them. I was going to move them, but I just left them, child. Whatever. Adds character. Um, vanity. 
Um, I think I mentioned already that I'll just dump the trash because they probably didn't know it was trash. Um, and they don't like to just, you know, get rid of stuff and touch things or whatever. But the vanity is done and organized. This stuff right here doesn't stay here. It's just um, makeup that I have to review. So I just left it there um, and sunscreen that I wanted to try. So, yeah, I just left it on this little tray. Um, and I keep the wax pot up there just because that's the one I use all the time. Um, well, for the most part. So I just leave that there, honestly, because I pull it out. Um, I don't feel like putting it away and pulling it out every two or three weeks. So um, this corner over here, I actually want to get rid of like all that stuff or most of it. And I'm thinking about putting like a cabinet there. But I'm just not trying to um, do too much because I'm just like more so minimizing stuff and not trying to add furniture to the room so I might just start throwing away the stuff over there um as far as like the valentine stuff and all of that but I'm not sure um and then I just need to look honestly uh in that stuff it's like an excess amount of like products like hairsprays and stuff that's on there so whatever the mannequin she'd be chilling okay and I want to push her all the way into that corner which is another reason why I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get rid of that shelving over there but if I do I need like a ottoman storage thing to put all of that stuff in like the extra wax and stuff pantsuits and blazers here um long jackets jackets jean jackets and sweaters here uh perfume collection has grown shout out to y'all period boo with the 100k plaque i got that i think when i was at my last place or did i get it i know i think i got it in my first apartment i'm not sure but um perfume collection has grown and it actually is room for other stuff but i'm not gonna just go buy a bunch of perfume just because i have extra room i want to just you know start if I come across something I really like, then I'll get it or whatever the case is or if I'm doing a review. But I'm not just going to go perfume crazy again. I think I did go perfume crazy because I was just like lacking. But I'm good now. You know, I got three full shelves. And then at the bottom, it's just like um, oils and like uh, deodorant spray type things. Uh, not even deodorant. It's like the air freshener consistency um is how those perfume sprays come out so and then it's like boxes that i really like but i'll eventually get rid of those then we have the black section my favorite honestly wish i would have put it in the middle because it really is my favorite but that actual shelf is like not sturdy at all so i wanted it to be up against the wall but um yes beautiful beautiful jeans and a few purses and boots and um excess black skirts shorts and skirts um and then graphics and then at the bottom I'm gonna do um like beanies and hats and stuff but I just have to pull them out that drawer over there then over here we have skirts and pants and more skirts and an orange section gold section silver section furry boots more tall boots the beige and cream and pearl section well beige cream pearl and white section the pink section the browns a random yellow <laughs> and burgundy and then the blues and that's pretty much all we got the croc bin over there the shoes that kept falling on my head and yeah sneakers are up there um that's the jewelry cabinet right there heels sunglasses and in this ottoman is just pr stuff and that's just jewelry i need to put away and so is that um and within the closet or in the closet it's just those bins with like um swimwear sandals boots and then tops and sets and dresses hanging up so yeah so yeah we are done it's done up I can't believe I condensed like the whole master bedroom to this. Like, I think I did a really good job condensing that because that was a lot. Yeah.